Inside the Yakuza, Japan's most dangerous game. Bro, I don't know why. I just can't even, I can't even visualize Pootie and the Yakuza in the same vicinity. But let's see, bro. When you think of Tokyo, the hood doesn't really come to mind. There are some dangerous places here, but it's relatively safe due to tourism. But three hours southwest on an express bullet train and away from most tourism will lead you to one of Japan's biggest cities, Osaka, which to locals- I always wanted to go there. Japan. Today- That's the way to wait, with is Tiga it? Sky sea. It looked beautiful on IG. who's gonna show me around Osaka and then later connect me with one of the world's most dangerous gangs, the Yakuza. Make sure to take two seconds and thumbs up the video right now, y'all, because we have a lot to get into. All right, y'all, so we just got to Osaka right now. We're about to go link up with Tig. Off rip, Osaka looks just like Las Vegas to me. The roads, the buildings, the everything. It reminds me of home away from home in a way. We got a lot to do today, and we also have some very interesting people to link with as well. Can't say too much, but y'all see the title. Let's go over here and let's go knock it out. It's young I ain't finished white girl. She play tennis. Um, yeah. Uh, Ricky, Brandon, hey, Ricky, hey, hey, us. hey. Um, hey. Yeah. Bro, why everybody go to Japan? Maybe you want to go to Japan, bro. Everybody goes to Japan and they make it sound like a movie. They go, I might have to go to Japan, bro. I always wanted to go, but feel me like, damn. It does look beautiful over there. No cap, man. Hopefully that, uh, hopefully that IRL streamer didn't ruin it for us. Winner, yeah, Lambo, yeah, I've been, yeah, this is not a rented, hey, pull up window tennis, my eyes are tennis. How you doing, man? Hey, hey, good. Say what up, say what up, yeah. Takoyaki, takoyaki. Man, this is yeah, whatever that means. Yeah, whatever that means. Takoyaki, takoyaki. What up? How you doing, man? <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Koko wa Osaka Minami. Minami. Number. Minami number. You feel me? Minami. Minami. Hey, hey, come there. Yeah, for me. <laughs> fight? 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 This is a fight. Yeah, this is better. This is better. We lit, man. Oh, nigga, That's what I was saying. Like, I fight? I peeped that, man. Global, nigga. International. Like, yeah, this is better. This is better. We lit, man. As I was saying, like I like linking with people who's just like me. We in your area, man. I want you to show me around and explain everything. All right, so we're going to number, but the slang version is called me not me. Number me not me. All right, y'all know we in slang, so me not me. Me yeah, not me. Man. This dude is just like me, man. Oh my god, I found my twin out here in Japan, bro. Osaka takoyaki soul food ga attari. <laughs> Who that? <laughs> he said this is local food called what? Takoyaki. What is it made out of? It's octopus in it. Wow. Octopus? Osaka. 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 Hey, See, it sounds good to me. Like a... Hey, I, I'm here to tell y'all niggas octopus kind of tastes good, bro. I know I might be the bad guy here. All right, this shit kind of tastes good, bro. All right, bro. I think I think squid is a little bit more comp though. I think squid is a little bit more comp, I'm not gonna lie, but octopus is good too. Yeah, octopus. This don't look like a taco, this is like a uh, a bowling ball or something. Takoyaki! 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 That's fire. Okay, it might be too hot to eat. Cheers. Cheers. Yo, what the fuck does this sign mean? Bro, this shit got no meaning. It's just no blue niggas in this vicinity, bro. Please. My entire tongue, bro. He tried to set me up, bro. Did you grow up here? This is a place he always liked doing business. No park? What is the difference between here and Tokyo? Niggas can drive here. I feel like cars don't belong right here. Vibes. Vibes. The vibes. The vibes is better. Most people here don't have any tattoos. And you even have them on your face do people treat you just hence the sign no oh so i hey dads with their kids y'all niggas valid on this road 
I just thought this was a sidewalk. You feel me? Like, if you put a no parking sign on a sidewalk, I'd be like, I guess it is a road, huh? I just... What would a car be doing down here? Maybe delivering food, maybe to the businesses? Currently, we're having tattoos out here. Hey, yo, that, yo, that, yo, that, yo, that. They actually treat them. Yo, the That's signage is cool. Uh -huh. like, it's like 3D. Like, artists are doing it. You can't have a 9 to 5. He gets scared a lot. Mm -hmm. So he feels comfortable sometimes. Look, no one else is going to be able to get out of As a translator? Yeah, there's the only two people with tattoos. At what age did you get your first face tattoo? Uh, 19 years old. So he got the heart right here when he was 19. That's his first tattoo. Bro, wait. This nigga just tatted sex on himself? Type shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got sex right here. That's cool. To get a face tattoo, yeah. you got to be fully committed. At what point was you like, all right, I'm not trying to get no job or no nine to five job or anything? So ever since you were younger, you, you've been like this and you knew you didn't want a job or nothing. Yeah. What is this area right here called? She. He? Kakebashi. 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 Oh, okay. So this right here is like the place you can pick up a girl or you trying to sell something oh, to maybe what? a florist or a local. I was saying to the camera, it reminds me so much of like Las Vegas here. What? What does that mean over here? Beauty, what are you talking about? What part of this feels like Las Vegas? I can... There is nothing further from Las Vegas, my nigga. Las Vegas is a fucking desert with some tourist attractions in it. This doesn't feel like that at all. I guess it might feel, I mean, it might be different on camera. Sometimes you like, you don't see the beauty of some shit until like you're there, you feel me? Like, I don't think the camera captured the beauty of Hawaii the way my eyes was doing it when I was in Hawaii, you feel me? Even the streams, I don't think it truly captured it. So maybe it might just be different from his POV, but shit don't look like Vegas to me, man. So this is a real popular place. He's saying a lot of people will come here and they will take a picture in front of it. Kind of like if you're in Hollywood, you go to the Hollywood stars, New York, you go to Times Square. And look at this view right or here. This Tower right here. It's beautiful. Growing up, did you get into like lots of fights and stuff like that? Yes, yes, yes. What's the craziest thing that you've seen here? Oh. So seeing somebody get stabbed and his guts coming out. So we see the places here that if somebody's new here, it might look safe, even though I know it's dangerous. Are there a lot of gangs in this area? Yeah, from what I've read, they're one of the most dangerous gangs in the whole country, right? What other gangs are out here? Is it just them? I don't know how to say it. Like, they're the best of gang members. Or like, probably like the most popular. They're probably number one on the power rankings right now. I think what Pootie's asking though, is what's number two and number three look like on the power rankings and uh, what's their like per 36? Mm -hmm. They're like the most popular right. gang out here. In like America, there's like Bloods, Crips. You go to a different state, there's like GDs, BDs. There's all these different gangs depending on what state. In Japan, is it just only a few gangs out here? Got you, okay. Halloween, so, Halloween. Halloween. Halloween Why didn't you ever choose to, to join that? Wait, wait, in Japan, sometimes niggas dress up like different Bloods and Crips as Halloween costumes? What the fuck? They're fake repping as like a Halloween costume. That's nuts. That's insane. I did not know that. I didn't. I don't. I'm not on that part of IG. Maybe I don't know. That gang or anything. Yeah, but I wanted to do music. So, like, to kill people, it's not easy. So, like, just like, just like, no. What did you say? What did you say? Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. My brain's in two places. I was thinking about how beautiful slash potentially disgusting being on this boat would be right now. And then I just realized he's talking about murdering people. So let me tee up. Didn't you ever choose to, to join that gang or anything? What? Mm, pretty much you're saying like not something that, oh, I'm going to just join for a few years and then, oh, I think this is too hard. Let me get out. Once you join, you're committed. It's a brotherhood forever. How long have you been making music? Damn. I've been doing this over six years. 
what have first got you into doing it? えだ、俺ずっとそういう苦労してて、俺は全部苦労してた。オッケー。悪いことをしたけど、なんかまあいろいろ失敗して、自分にあのやってきたことが返ってきて、それで音楽しようと思った。だからもう悪いことじゃな
There's a game called Midnight Club. Nigga, real niggas know about this shit. Feel me? They made this game. This was apparently a real group of people in Japan. And yeah, niggas debunked and shit like that. Apparently they still might exist. But this there was a group of people that used to race. They used to go on the freeways in Japan and race. But they wouldn't do, they wouldn't cut up. They would just see who can go as fast as possible on open roads, my nigga. On open roads. And they were so skilled at it. It was like a tight-knit group of some of the most elite racers on the planet. And but they had one rule. It was like you had to be as safe as humanly possible. That's it. And they had rules around safety so that no one got hurt. But one day some shit went wrong and it was an accident and some people died. This was supposedly happen. Now niggas saying this part might be fake and this might be all a sham so that the group can go under basically. But they say after that day they disbanded the group. They said, "Nah, we wasn't standing on principle. We disbanded the group." And the group was so famous and infamous, they made a whole video game series, movies about it, all type of shit. Because they were some of the most elite people on the planet. You feel me? It was almost like they were a myth. And like, if you lived at the time in Japan, you could see them sometimes on the freeways just cutting up crazy. Cops wouldn't even try and stop them because you're not catching these niggas. They would have cars tuned to perfection, my nigga. Putting out outputs you couldn't even fucking dream of at the time. Bro. Not gonna lie, that's some good lore, bro. That's some good lore. Apparently, they faked disbanding the group so that they they didn't like the spotlight on them or something like that. There's a whole bunch of rumors on where they are now for the past like decade or two, but um, <clears throat> yeah, bro. Before we continue with this video, y'all, this yeah. video is sponsored by Price Pit. So Dr. Yakuza here. Everybody has masks. Their identities don't want to be shown. We're in a small space right now, so we're all crammed up. I guess first question, why is it so important to hide who you are? Hi, I'm um, Got you. What is the, the joining process like? How exactly do they have to go about joining? You only need books to be a Yakuza for life. Okay. When y'all are looking for people to join, do y'all go and search for people to join or do people come to y'all and ask? Do you don't When y'all are trying to find people that y'all want to uh, bring in, what exactly are characteristics that y'all are like trying to look for? Back is, when you find somebody, how do you know that, okay, I can trust this person to be part of the gang? Mm. And say if someone wants to join and you have them go do something for you and they come back and don't get the job done, how is that process like? Do you just kick them out or? Cat. Or do they get in trouble for not doing everything that you asked for? So, um, I see everybody has on suits. Why the suits? Do everybody have to dress in suits if they join? Or is that how y'all carry yourself every day? This is Japanese culture. Okay. I see everybody has nice jewelry and everything. When someone joins, do they get money given to them? Are y'all faces known by lots of cops? Yes. Let's say a cop just sees you out living your regular life. How do they treat y'all when they see y'all? They're trying to look for something they committed so they can Got you, got you. Now, if let's say the cops find y'all and try to take y'all to jail. Do y'all get extra time because y'all are in a gang? Yes, sir. I've seen online a lot of people have tattoos. Their whole full body's covered. Is that something that everybody has to do once they join? Or is it a certain tattoo? No. You have to get tattoos, but it's culture. Isn't that like, wait, hold on. Wouldn't it be easy to identify you, though? Like, if, I'm not gonna lie, if I see this nigga again, bro, in public, I'm gonna know that's the nigga with a chest tattoo. I don't, you don't need to cover your face because your tattoo gave it away. Is that just me, bro? Mm. 
By y'all being in the gang, the are y'all able to just look at somebody else that lives here and tell they're in a gang, whether it's a certain way that they dress, carry themselves, not whether it's it a certain the cops. tattoo, and be able to tell that, okay, this person is in a gang of, of some sort. <laughs> How does somebody move up in rank? How does someone move up from somebody who just joined the gang to all the way up to like a leader or a boss? How much you move down the rank, how much you can go up and higher. How fast can someone do it? Hey, Pooty, stop playing. Ask these niggas how many people they killed. Um, do you have any like rival gangs? How do you think the gang culture here is different from the gang culture in the United States? Oh, what? Okay, so it's is drug culture not a thing here compared to like in in the U.S. Do most people not do drugs? So they can't if they catch you doing one line, what happens? Just one line, bro. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Was any of y'all young when y'all had y'all first tattoo? Mm -hmm. um, are we able they to see you? any tattoo Ow. of y'all's? What does that tattoo mean? Bonjour. Lisa? It's called a bonjour. I don't know if it's actually, but it's Japanese culture. Do any of y'all have your whole body tattooed? Oh my God. Oh my God. When y'all have kids, would y'all want them to join the gang as well? Or would y'all want to keep y'all kids away from that? Type shit. Um, would that be, would he tell um, his kid that he's in a gang or would that be something that he'll try to hide from them for as long as he can? Yeah, yeah. So I, I see your hand and I see that you're missing a uh, finger over there. Uh, you mind explaining? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. That's a nub. He got a nub. Damn, he must have fucked up. And what happened and how you lost it? Was it something that you chose to do? Or was it a request from somebody else that you should get your finger cut off? Okay. When you joined, why did you choose to join? Okay. Um, did, did any of y'all join for safety <laughs> reasons? Said, okay. In the U.S., <laughs> joining a gang, a lot of people have to because of where they're at. It's either they join a gang and the neighborhood help them be safe, or they have to go out on their own with no backup. Did any of y'all join to have a backup and feel safe? <laughs> Not many people get to speak with Damn. Yakuza. Because their identities are hidden, it's common to be walking the streets and not knowing you're passing by a member of Japan's most dangerous gang. A few of them traveled four hours just for this video. Oh it's my almost God. like these where you sit back and think, how the hell this all started? All year I'm traveling the world and meeting people, learning about different ways of life outside of the norm. I just posted new pictures with the Yakuza on Instagram. If you go comment. <laughs> this nigga's a thug. Hey, I'm, I'm ready to say it, bro. Pootie is a thug. This nigga... Flicking up with one of the most dangerous gangs on the planet, bro. He better be careful. <laughs> Feel me before they give this nigga an objective. <laughs> and here from YouTube, I'll go spam your pics. And comment on this video and let me know where y'all want to see me go next. From Osaka, signing out. Plus, hey! Who need it most? We break it down to false, but that's one drink for most. I'm extra good. It's weighed up on my back. Who is Yachty? Actually, like that idea. I'm here yeah. about the Who's that? Salapen? Salapen? You and Dwight? For sure. <laughs> Not Whitey. Never that. Jesus, nigga. You wanna sit on the cop? Boy, I don't fucking know. And my name is Coco. Baby, you look stupid. You ever seen a Bengali with a BBL? I've been around the hood before. You know what? I'm from Ohio. The hell I'm you do? Ohio. Ohio. On the train. Y'all thought you were familiar with the hood. I am only Armenian. You already seen the CMOS. Do you know? Oh, no. Me and Pooty is not beefing. That's my little sister. For sure. Okay. A real black man. Yeah, Octopus. Yeah. Hey man, there's gonna reach a point in your career, Pootie, where this outro is gonna be longer than your video, bro. <laughs> Just keep posting, man. W video, Pootie. <laughs> hey! Uh, that's a good video. Agent, it's your therapist again. I don't have Been one. Been a couple weeks since our last session. I'm not I sure. see you still take everything to serious and you lack the understanding of jokes. Even now, Er taking this dono seriously. Yeah, yeah. Why? I'm a random chatter and Er taking me seriously. Love.